Hi everyone, we're here at John Sadler's Auto Repair. We have a 2007 Dodge Magnum with a 3.5 liter and it had a code P2004 intake manifold runner stuck open. And we found a technical service bulletin on all the data that says you have to reprogram the computer at the local dealership or someone that does programming. Then you have to replace the manifold. And I have the manifold here. The customer was kind enough to leave me his old manifold. And we did all that, took the car for smog test, everything worked out fine. So I was talking to my friend Tim Morehouse that supplies a lot of my chemicals that I use for doing the fuel injection cleaning services. And he gave me a couple different treatments to try on the manifold itself. And now I'll show you what we're doing. And the person that you want to contact to get these chemicals, his name is Tim Morehouse. And his telephone number is 619-890-3276. 619-890-3276. So that's how you get a hold of Tim. And he was kind enough to supply me with these chemicals that I can test. And he wanted me to have the manifold over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have it 108, 112. 120 so we had the manifold to an operating temperature of a vehicle that was running now if we look down inside here pull part out of the light here we can already see I've done this treatment in here and there was a whole coating you can still see a little bit of carbon build up inside there but not too much at all and so what we're going to do is we're going to take the container with product number one. I'm going to put some safety glasses on here because this is not eye friendly. And so what we do is we're covering the area of the runner and we're making sure we get the corners because from the people I talk to, I haven't found the manifold runner stuck open or stuck closed, but I found them slow to move. So this is all plastic and the part where it swivels in the corners, I'm making sure to get the spray across the whole runner and also in the part, it's a big long shaft where it swivels. So this is my second time going across doing this. And you can see it makes a pretty good coating across it. And it's really working fast the second time. You can see just a little tiny bit of carbon left inside there. But it really, really cleaned it up. So this is exciting news for the consumer that we have another product that can save you six, seven, eight hundred dollars just for the part. So now once the product number one has been on there for a while and they said up to 10 minutes and like I said I've already done this once and so the second time around I'm using this product number two here now and this is a rinse after the cleaner's done its job this rinse goes in there to clean off any residual buildup. And then Tim will talk to the uh, give these results to the people he works with and hopefully we'll, we'll either get a one can treatment or we'll get a, a two can treatment and what we can do is we can just put it right inside the throttle body. So if you look in there that just did a, a pretty marvelous job of an engine that has carbon build up. It did a really good job of cleaning it up. And then one thing I noticed as I stuck my finger in, down inside the runner and moved it to see how it moved because it has a load from the actuator on it and it's moving, it's smoother. You can actually hear it when it bottoms out, when it stops. So there's no binding, there's no hanging up whatsoever of that runner. So when we bought the new one, it came with the actuator right on it because some people will buy these actuators 
And I'll show you on the actuator, it just has a few bolts that holds it on. And if you buy this actuator, chances are it won't solve your problem. So we'll take those screws off there. So it has four screws that hold it in place on there. And then it just comes off like that. And it has a little motor inside of here that rotates to what position that should be in. And so here's the actual shaft inside of here, which we can actually move it. And I think what happens is, you know, part of it is the shaft wobbles out, the shaft itself gets worn out. And obviously it can't move as fast if it gets worn out. And if you look inside the throttle bore on this one too, this vehicle had, I think 150,000 miles or so. Um, there's quite a bit of carbon at the bottom of the throttle plate you can see inside of there. So I want to make this video so everyone can see, I'm constantly thinking of a better way for your vehicle. If I can make some kind of improvement if we can spray a different chemical, because I'm already doing a great job for people spraying the product in there that cleans the back of the intake valves, and cleans the throttle plate, and you add it to your fuel tank to clean the injector spray pattern, that's working out great. So if I come up with another product, then we can mist it in the same way, the engine vacuum will suck it behind the throttle plate, and it'll clean these runners up and make them move freer. It's, it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna give all this information to Tim, how well this product has worked, and then he's gonna put it together and bring me back another product that I can start trying on actual vehicles. So if you live in San Diego and your vehicle has these codes, when I get this product in, we can start trying it and, and see if we can save you a lot of money on your vehicle. Thank you very much, have a wonderful day.